I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Fun Word Friday takes on the word sinner. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you're learning about your Christian faith uh, in a place you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Southern Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor, and he is sleeping. Hey, buddy, you okay? You want to wake up? You want a treat? Treat? Sleeping Jack Russell Terrier named Thor. Go ahead and like and subscribe today. Hit the bell and you won't miss any of our videos. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about assisting parents and pastors and congregations in passing on the faith to the next generation. Keeps us uh, rolling. Uh, a friend of mine, and uh, Andrew in St. Louis, well, he's actually from Southern Illinois, but anyway, um, he had the question about sinners. Pastor, the, the, how do I explain to my unbelieving friends about being a sinner when their big hang up is that they don't see themselves completely and totally sinful? A good question from a young person. Andrew's a pretty sharp cookie. Um, well, first of all, Andrew, we don't see ourselves as rotten to the core either. We see ourselves as somewhat bad, getting better, doing better, better than we used to be. Um, that's one of the things that uh, when Lutherans go wrong, they start thinking that they're improving um, and better and better than he used to be despite what the Word of God says. So we think we're kind of good and kind of bad. Um, the Catechism is really helpful for this because when Luther is sort of telling us how to examine ourselves before communion, he says, are you a sinner? Yes, I am a sinner. How do you know? And he doesn't say, well, because I know and feel in my heart or because I know my sin. I know the bad that I've done in my life. No, he says, because the word of God says I'm a sinner, conceived and born in sin. And so the confession that you're a sinner is a confession of what the scriptures say. And so, you know, I've been thinking about your question for a few weeks. Um, and my conclusion is, let's start somewhere else. <laughs> Rather than convincing our unbelieving friends that they are sinful to the core, Let's find something in the law that they believe that they're not doing. And if that doesn't work, like what I mean by is some sin that they know and feel guilty of, some place where God's law, some place where they need forgiveness. Also, there's another thing in our life that is devastating law as well, and that's death. So you can't run from death. You can't make excuses. You can't tell yourself you're going to get better when you're dying. Hey, Thor, look here, buddy. Come on, buddy. You want this treat? Sit up, buddy. Look at that. That's so funny. Um, you can't run. There was, a, there, was a, there was a famous atheist recently this week who got baptized before his death. He was, looks like he was dying of some, I think it was cancer. And there he is in the, in the, in the pool being baptized. Um, because you can't run from death. Everyone's going to die. And so either when we want to apply the law to our friends in order to tell them that they need a savior, I would find a place in which they feel like that they haven't done good, a place where they failed. Failed to live as they believe they should live. And when they sort of justify that as, you know, I'm only human, um, God doesn't grade on a curve. It's perfection or it's hell. But even if they don't buy that, everybody's going to die. You see, I don't believe that we believe that we are sinners until the Lord tells us that we're sinners. 
I don't believe that we understand the gravity and the magnitude and the ickiness of our sin until God reveals that gravity and magnitude and ickiness of our sin to us in his word. Um, and this is the problem with, with sort of Lutheranism gone wrong, where I'm progressively getting better because the, I must not be hearing the law then. Yes, there is success in my Christian life, places where I'm better than I used to be. But for every one of those is another place where the Lord's words and, 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 and law comes and kills me. Paul says, I didn't know what it meant to covet until the Lord said, thou shalt not covet. And so constantly I'm learning more and more about how icky I am as the Lord has his way with me and I learn to give up certain sins or to run from them or not to live in them any longer. So the Christian life isn't about progressing and getting better. It's about confessing your sins to Jesus and receiving faith, receiving from Jesus forgiveness. And so what I would say is, let's, let's find a sin that they're struggling with. If they're, if they're delusional and don't believe that they don't have any sin, then wait for them to crash and burn. You don't, we're not responsible for convincing everybody of the truth of the gospel. Somebody's going to come afterwards and build on the uh, water some more, the seed that you plant, or that the Lord plants through you. That's more correct. Um, but for now, it's enough to say, I want to get to the gospel, and I want to get to the forgiveness of sins. And the person doesn't have to totally understand every bit of, the, of, their, of their wretchedness. Death is enough. Hell is enough. That I'm not perfect is enough. And then it gives me a, a, a wedge to get to where I really want to go, which is the forgiveness of sins achieved by Jesus on the cross, that Christ died even for the sins that I don't know yet that I've committed. Think about it, Andrew. And good question. Continue to submit your questions. Um, description, we'll tell you where. And this has been Fun Word Friday with the fun word, sinner. We only know we're sinners because Jesus in his word says that we're sinners. And as he has his way with us, we learn more and more about the depth and the awfulness that is us. And so let's start with any law that we can find that tenderizes the ground and makes that soul good so that we put the seed in there of the gospel because it's the gospel that saves. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.